What's up, everybody? It's Dynasty Mirror, Search for Huru. And I'm going to respond to some of the comments made on my previous video that I did in regards to the hypocrisy of indigenous Liberians. And what I mean by the hypocrisy, and you can watch the video I did on it previously, many indigenous Liberians wanted to remove American rulership by any means necessary. They hated it. They had so much contempt for the American, American rulership that they wanted them, wanted them to be removed and supported the coup led by the idiot Samuel Doe. But now, after the, the coup was unsuccessful and their plans were thwarted and ruined because Doe was an idiot and the shit didn't work out. And you had the Civil War broke. You had the uh, the Civil War. Happened, took place. Many of them came to America as refugees. When. If the Americans were not removed. None of this would have happened. So now they're here in America. And their, I guess, protection status is up and Trump is sending them back to Liberia. But many of them are trying to now leverage the fact that since Liberia was founded and created by black Americans, free black slaves from America, America, they should be able to stay. In America. But all I have to say to that is leave black Americans out of this, leave the Americans out of this. If you supported the coup, it's time for you to lay in the bed that you made. You need to go back to Liberia, period. This is what you wanted. So don't try to leverage, I guess, the benefits of being an American or a black American who are descendants of Americans? So don't try to leverage that privilege now. When everything that you wanted in a, that you're looking for or wanted, all the privileges that you wanted in America that you're now about to lose, the Americans brought to Liberia, and now it's a wrap because that you didn't want it then. So when the Americans brought all the privileges that you are dying for, literally, here in America that you're about to lose, when we brought those privileges to Liberia, you all rejected them. But again, when the coup didn't work out, the, you had the Civil War outbreak, and now you had, to, you had to go to America as refugees, and you're about to lose the benefits of that, let's keep it real, of being a black American, now, all of a sudden, you want to claim uh, black American status. So, nah, it's not going to go down. But let me start off with this. A lot of times when we, we speak on Pan-Africanism and black Americans coming to Africa to help build, we always get the rejection or objection that, well, which is a lie, that black Americans didn't build anything in America, how in the hell are they gonna build something in Africa? I wanna deal with Wilmington, North Carolina. Wilmington, North Carolina, before the rights, race rights of 1898 or 1899, I believe was the year, was a black city built by free black slaves, the government was ran by free black slaves, banks, businesses, everything was black owned. White people got jealous and burnt it down. Or I'm sorry, took it over. And this is somewhat the case in Tulsa in Greenwood, Oklahoma. But for the most part, the entire city of Wilmington was operated and ran by free black slaves. 
the entire city, government, businesses, everything. We did the same thing in Liberia. All right. But many rejected it. So I want to read some of these comments from my previous video. Uh, one is from Pretty Melanin Exotic. Uhuru, I'm very disappointed in you. This video has you sounding like an European. This is the same argument they spew about how when they're in power, things are better. Okay, number one, let's let's deal with this. Liberia was better when the Americos were in power. But please stop making this correlation between us and Europeans and Afrikaners. Because we were the descendants, we were freed African slaves returning home. Okay? And when we, when we ret returned home, all right, unlike Europeans, we didn't show up with gunboats, muskets, guns, cannons, uh, attacking everything in sight, stealing land, raping and, and pillaging. We did none of that. We came. We negotiated with the locals for the land. We got our land. Liberians are treated like garbage, and you know it. How? I'm still waiting for an indigenous Liberian to articulate specifically how they were treated like garbage by the Americos. I'm still, I'm still waiting. I have not heard any indigenous Liberian, I've seen the videos. I know some people are going to post a link to a video, a documentary on Liberia. On how they were treated like garbage by the uh, Americos. All right. Still haven't seen it. It's not even documented. Now, I showed you the video of when Tolbert was assassinated, you know, when the indigenous, let's keep it real, the indigenous librarians partnered with the CIA, okay, and staged the coup, overthrew Tolbert, and then they dragged out his cabinet, paraded him around the streets naked in Marovia, butt naked, let's keep it real, tied him up to totem poles, and shot him on TV. They had the BBC there, camera crews, and murdered them and assassinated them like dogs, tied them up to totem poles. The least they could have, could have done is said, look, we're tired of you, Americos. Time for you guys to bounce. It allowed them to um, be exiled, send them to Ghana. Because, again, I mentioned this in my previous video. If the Americos were so brutal, okay? If they were so brutal, why didn't Ghana, um, you know, Ivory Coast, um, let's see here, Mali, what other African, Senegal, all these African nations surrounding Liberia, why didn't they get involved? Because again, since you want to compare Americos to Afrikaners, okay, you had Mozambique, you had rebels or guerrillas being trained in. Uh, Mozambique, Castro sent help, support to the, the, the guerrillas. You had Angola supporting the guerrillas, the ANC. Your boy Shea Guevara, I forgot, I butchered his name, I'm sorry. He trained uh, the ANC, Tanzania lent support, and they all got together and they went head with the apartheid army and government. Zimbabwe. But for some reason, if you want to compare and, and, and say that these so and that the um the Americos had this European mindset and that they co colonized, okay, and they were enslaving the indigenous population, and that they were they treated the indigenous population like garbage. Where Kwame Kuma was on the scene back then. Where, why didn't he say anything? All these African leaders will come to Liberia and hold Pan-African conferences. Because at that time, Liberia was the standard of how a black nation that was built from the ground up, 
not built by Europeans. And then uh, after uh, colonialism ended, black, you know, they handed the key off to um, to African leadership. Liberia was built from the ground up by black Americans. OK. But again, if they were treated so bad, the indigenous population, we got to address this. Because I'm hearing no facts, just a bunch of uh, uh, people being emotional. If the Liberian indigenous population were treated so bad, why didn't these African leaders at the time, Kwame Nkrumah, because Ghana is like maybe, what, three countries over, three, four countries over. When they came to Liberia, why didn't they denounce the Liberian government, the Americo government? That's my question. If we were so bad. So, again, Americos weren't European. They were freed African slaves returning home. The Americos were Liberian, obviously. But again, Indigenous Liberians who left, who are leaving, or le who left Liberia because of the Civil War, okay, this is what you wanted, all right? So you left Liberia because of the Civil War to go to America because you wanted Western civilization, you wanted European civilization, when you didn't have to even leave Liberia because the Americans already brought everything to you. You had what you wanted in Liberia. But again, we got this issue that if it's westernization in a black face, Africans are going to reject it. They rather have it in a white or yellow face. Let's just keep it real. Because this westernization, this civilization, okay, that the Americans brought to Liberia, to Africa, that Africans are dying for right now, literally. Don't believe me. Look what's going on in Libya, the slave trade. We had already brought before the damn Europeans came and colonized Africa. Okay, and we were fair. Again, I'm still waiting for uh, an indigenous Liberian to prove to me and show me the facts on how we treated the indigenous population like garbage. So we brought what you guys are dying for now. We brought it to you. Modernization, we brought it. You guys have to see pictures of Liberia before the uh, before the uh, coup, before the Civil War. You have to see the pictures. We brought modernization. We brought civilization. We brought... Um, uh, westernization, what you guys wanted, what Africa wanted. We brought it already. But this is my whole issue. Somebody said, Dinus, search for who? The Americans were not Europeans. This is true. But however, they had a European mindset. Let's address this European mindset. I go to Africa. I see Africans here in America. Skin bleach. Bad weaves, white Jesus. I could go to Liberia right now. Okay, let, let, let's deal with, okay, religion, European mindset. Okay, fair, fair enough, European mindset. Get rid of the white Jesus. Oh, I can't get rid of that. No, 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 no. Get rid of the bad weaves. No, 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 no. no. Go back to your indigenous religion. No, 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 no. I, got, I love white Jesus too much. You got General Butt Naked, okay, who's a pastor right now in Liberia, a pastor. I guarantee you, if I wanted to come up in Africa, I could just go to Africa and be a pastor, and I would make millions and preach that white Jesus Christianity, and I would be rich. But they want to talk about the Americans had a European mindset. When I go to Africa, oh, a lot of these Africans here in America, Europe, in America, Europe, and Africa all have a European mindset. But you want to get mad at America for having a westernized European mindset. 
It's just not adding up. They settled back in their homeland. The Americans, Black Americans, came back to Africa, settled in the homeland, and rejected the culture of the Liberians. See, they see this is the issue I have. They don't tell the complete story. So when the Black American, when the Americo came back to Liberia, let me tell you what they dealt with, what they faced when they got off that boat. Okay, again, they didn't come like the European or Afrikaner with gunboats and cannons and muskets and all this other crap. Okay, they came, they negotiated, they bought the land. But guess what the indigenous population was doing? Participating in the slave trade. So think about it. You're a newly freed slave. And you come back to Liberia to enjoy or experience freedom in Africa. You want to come back home. And the first thing you see is African, the indigenous Liberian population, marching slaves, working with Europeans, capturing slaves and selling slaves. Then, then hold on, let me finish. I'm address. I'm gonna address some of these comments in the chat room. Then, okay, yeah, they don't want to address. They participate in the slave trade. They want to sit here and say, "Oh well, you know, the the Americo treated the indigenous like garbage." How? Well, they were mean. How? Well. Well, well, nothing specific, but when it comes to, okay, you do realize that part of the reason why Liberian culture was rejected by black Americans when we first came over is because when we came, you guys were literally marching other Africans and to the shores of Liberia and selling them to white Europeans. You were participating in cannibalism, female circumcision. So, of course, we're going to reject this. Come on now. Of course, we're going to reject this. What do, you, what do you think? There was no conquest. So conquest is okay as long as the person is black. What did the Liberian con? What did America conquest? We weren't no damn conquistadors. Again, we didn't show up to Liberia again with gunboats, swords drawn, guns, raping and pillaging the indigenous women. None of that happened. So what do you mean conquest? Okay, you've had Americos who set up their own towns. Here come the indigenous population raiding them. So then once we got established, of course, we had rules and regulations, checks and balances if you wanted to come in. If you wanted to, to get down, I guess, if you wanted to participate. And see, and this is the issue I have with, oh, the, the, the Americo, uh, uh, he, he, he said that the African wasn't civilized. I'm going to tell you a true story. I've been to probably 12 African countries. Now, if you guys watch my videos, I go to the villages. All right. And I love to speak on the indigenous history because I can't get that in the city because, again, the same Africans. Who complain about how um, um, the Americos had this European mindset, how they were civilizing, wanted to civilize the African, are now in the city civilized, which nothing is wrong with that. You know, you know, they, they say that the America had a European mindset. I'm in a city, I'm seeing white Jesus worship everywhere. So to do what I need to do, as far as getting the history, preserving the history, finding out about the indigenous religion, I can't do that in the city. I got to go to the villages. 
So you don't understand when I started going to the villages and documenting what's going on in the villages, you don't understand how many so-called civilized Africans will email me. Dinus, this is not the real Africa. These villages, these people are backwards. Quit stop showing that. Show what we do in the city. Seriously. You don't understand how many Africans will criticize me for what I do in the villages and how I document that. How many they come after me? I'm in the I have to go to the villages to get the real history because you guys rejected it. For the city life, the civilization, the westernization, the uh, um, Europeanization, the white Jesus, the Allah Akbar, you guys rejected the indigenous stuff. So you guys wanted the westernization and everything. But for some reason, when the Americos brought it, you guys rejected it. You guys rejected it. But now that's all you guys want. Now that's all you guys want. So the Americos bring civilization westernization you guys reject it but now this is all you guys want you know the the the, the what is it called the african the media that just show you on tv you know you guys want the africa the media that just show you on tv the americos the black americans who settled liberia were the first before the europeans before the Chinese to build and bring you the Africa, the media that just show you on TV. And you all rejected it. But for some reason, when the Chinese, you guys are praising the Chinese for building up Africa, worshiping white Jesus, and, particip and participating in civilization. But when the Americos did all of that hundreds of years before, you all rejected it. But now you guys are dying for it. You know how much further ahead Liberia would be if it wasn't for the jealous indigenous population? I'm just saying it's just it's not adding up because it, I'm gonna tell you a story. So let's I gotta I gotta stay on this whole civilization. Um, uh, you know the the uh, America said the Liberia wasn't civilized. I'm gonna stick on this for for a little bit. I go to Namibia, okay. I go to the Himba, spend some time with the Himba, a couple of days with the Himba. If you're not familiar with the Himba, look it up. You want to know how many Namibians criticize me for going to spend time with the Himba? And these so-called civilized, westernized Namibians, Africans, were calling the Himba animals and saying they were backwards. But then, also, when I'm in Tanzania, you know how many of these westernized Tanzanians were calling the Maasai animals and saying they're not civilized and they're backwards and they can never, you know, integrate into westernized black African Tanzania, African Namibian society because they're animals, they're backwards. But when the America builds a black African westernized civilization, brings it to Africa and says, hey, you guys are going to have to civilize a little bit and wear a shirt. I mean, let's break it down. Show you how, the, how petty these indigenous Liberians are. 
Let's break it down. I mean, Lumani Lana, you're from Sudan. I think. Or Rwanda. Or, or, I think you're from Sudan. Let's deal with like the Dinka and all these indigenous tribes uh, in, in southern Sudan. Could they integrate into westernized Sudan society the way they are? Like the Dinka that we see on National Geographic. If the, the Dinka and these other Sudanese tribes or ethnic groups that the ones they show us on National Geographic that some still live like that. Let's keep it real. If they would even attempt to integrate the way they are. OK. The way they are into a westernized Sudan, the westernized Sudan that a lot of Sudanese want, they would get rejected. But for some reason, when the Americans bring westernized civilization, the same westernized civilization that these Africans went to America, to Liberia and say, hey, you're going to have to put on a fucking shirt. OK, you're going to have to do this. No, you can't eat people's hearts. No, you're not going to eat someone's heart. No. No, you're not going to practice female circumcision. No, you can't participate in the slave trade. Americans are attacked and called being white. But when Africans do it to other Africans, it's okay. When the European, and here, here's another um, objection I've gotten or argument that I've gotten. Dinus. When the indigenous Liberian wanted to get educated or come to the city and be educated by the Americo or join American society, he had to change his last name. That was wrong. That was wrong. The the um, the indigenous Liberian was forced to change his name and get a proper name and be adopted by the Americos. That was wrong, Dinus. Stop the show. I, I meet a lot of Africans here in America. Where were you born? I was born in, I don't know, freaking um, Togo or Benin. Or here we go, Ethiopia. I was born in Ethiopia, you know, Togo, Ghana. What's your name? Now, this is an African who was born in Africa who just came to America. What's your name? My name is Justin Williams. So you're an African. And this is the next question I ask. What is your proper African name? OK. My name is Justin Mobutu. Why do you go by Justin Williams and not your proper African name? <clears throat> Because that is my Christian name. So you damn Africans are running around here with Christian names that the uh, um, the white Christian missionaries forced on you. And you have no problem going by your proper Christian name. Because but but, but just because the America told you that you had to change your name, nigga, it's you. You are. You're treating the America, you're treating the indigenous population like garbage. Exactly. My Burundian friend named his daughter Virginia. I mean, granted, he's Catholic. So you have no issue changing your name to the religion of the colonializer, of the Catholic, the beast, the Catholic Church. And have nothing to show for it. <clears throat> you have absolutely nothing to show for your Christian name. Nothing to show for it. But when the America tells the indigenous Liberian, excuse me, my, my, when the when the America tells the indigenous Liberian that he has to change his name or her name, oh, it's slavery. Oh, they're marginalizing these people. I can't believe these Americos. The is an example of the oppressed being the oppressor. 
But when that white Christian missionary, Jesus, comes to Africa <clears throat> and tells you to change your name, you guys are all for it. You keep your, your name. You, you, you keep your Bible, worship white Jesus, no problem. So that's why I'm not buying this. Uh, well, the 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 America said that you know the the indigenous tribe, the the, the indigenous population wasn't. Uh, guys, hit that like button. There's 224 people watching, only 80 not likes. Hit the like button and super chat, please. You guys had no problem with it. Absolutely no problem with it. But for some reason, and you keep your Christian name, you refuse, you know, you're so concerned about the culture and how the America wouldn't accept Liberian culture. But you guys don't even practice Liberian culture. All these hustling fake pastors running around Liberia. Fake Muslims running around Liberia. And this is just this isn't just limited to Liberia, also in Nigeria, Ghana, all these African countries. Culture, culture, no culture, 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 white Jesus, bad weaves. You don't speak your tongue. You love Arab Muhammad, which I'm going to do another video on that. So leave the culture shit out of it. Leave the Americas wouldn't accept Liberian culture because you Liberians don't accept Liberian culture. Indigenous Liberian. Right now, if I came into, in fact, here we go. Stop the show. Stop the show. If I came to Liberia right now and said, look, the fucking Americas brought white Jesus to Liberia. Therefore, we're going to tear down all the churches and we're going to get back to indigenous religion. You guys will have me killed. Get rid of white Jesus. Blasphemy. Kill him. Get, go back to our indigenous religion and get rid of white Jesus. No, that is blasphemy. But you're concerned about the, the, the America didn't accept the Liberian culture. If I came to Liberia right now and I said, stop importing these bad weaves, you know, this European mindset, get rid of these bad weaves and get rid of this, get rid of this white Jesus right now. Since you guys are so upset that the America brought European mindset to Liberia, I agree. I, I, I agree that those damn Americos, they should not have brought that European mindset to Liberia. So we're going to we're going to fix it right now. Burn down all the churches, get rid of white Jesus, get rid of the weeds. All of it. Get rid of the skin bleach, get rid of all of it. Damn those Americos. We're going to show them. We're going to take all the skin bleach, all the white Jesus crosses, all the bad weeds to the Atlantic Ocean and we're going to dump that shit in the ocean. Like the, uh, these uh, Americans did, you know, to the T, the British T. We're going to dump all that shit because we don't want no European mindset that these damn Americans brought to Liberia. You guys will call me crazy, send my ass back on a plane back to America. So get out of here. This, this, this American is crazy. He's nuts. Get rid of white Jesus, weaves, and skin bleach. What? Never. Exactly. Y'all going to string me up. Y'all going to tie me to a totem pole, call in BBC, and take me out just because I said get rid of white Jesus, bad weeds, and skin bleach. But you guys are so upset that the Americans brought the American mindset. I mean, I'm sorry, the European mindset. You are so upset that the miracles brought the European mindset, but you would not give up white Jesus, bad weeds, and skin bleach.
that you guys are so mad about the at, at the Americos. So I'm like, okay, the Americos were bad. They were terrible people. That damn European mindset that these Americos brought to Liberia. God damn it. Let's get rid of this European mindset. White Jesus, bad weaves, and skin bleach. Let's burn it all. No. It's not going to happen. Y'all will run me out of Liberia so fast. I think this time, I think you guys will at least exile me. I hope you guys will tie me to a totem pole and shoot me like you did with uh, uh, Tolbert's uh, staff. So miss me with this. The Americos didn't respect the culture because you guys don't respect your culture. I mean, I travel all over Africa. Give me the stop with this culture shit. Let's get back to the culture. Let's get back to the indigenous religion. Dump white Jesus. No. We will not, we will not give up white Jesus. No. 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 <laughs> They will ban me from Africa. The Western mindset. Black Americans didn't respect the culture. You all don't follow your own damn culture. Just hear me on that shit. I'm just saying. I mean, come on, man. Y'all be killing me with this shit. The, the Americans didn't respect Liberian culture. I mean, come on. That goes for a lot of you Muslims, too. I'm going to get on you Muslims next. You African Muslims, you about to catch hell next. African, black Muslims are being traded in the slave trade by Arab Muslims. You guys don't speak out against it, but you worry about some Rohingyans, Rohingyas and Myanmar, Myanmar, whatever it's called. You got Muslims being traded in the slave trade in Mauritia. I'm sorry, Mauritania, Mauritania. You won't speak out against it, but you worried about Rohingya, the Rohingyans. Fucking culture. That goes for a lot of you Africans here in America. Black American, you have no culture. I'm seeing these. Nigerian women talking shit about black Americans have no culture. You got a, a white boyfriend and husband and a bad weave. Stop it. And you love white Jesus. What's wrong with you? And worried about Palestine. I got African Christians talking about some. Israel, Israel is the promised land. It is the promised land, Israel. Israel is the promised land, not Africa. Then you worried about some culture. I'm just saying, man. I just, I just should be pissing me off sometime, man. Yeah. Now you guys are begging for westernization, begging for civilization, begging to be westernized. But when, you know, leaving, I mean, think about it. Everything that Africans are leaving Africa for to come get in America and in Europe, the Americas, black Americans brought that shit to Liberia. And you guys rejected it. Schools, hospitals. Education. I mean, everything you wanted. You guys want a Western society. You guys want the uh, the 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 Africa. The uh, they don't show you on TV. The Africa. The media doesn't show you. You want all that. Fine. The Americas brought that, built it, and you guys rejected it. It's an example of the press being the oppressor. I'm just saying. I, I'm not attacking. I'm just saying this shit doesn't make sense. It, it's not adding up. 
And trust me, I, I attack myself. I've had my moments that I had to call myself out. I attack some of the, 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 the buffoonery in the black community here in America. But I mean, some of the shit that comes out of some people's mouths, Africans' mouths, it doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. Liberian tale, a digital Liberian says, Americans don't respect, did not respect Liberian culture. America show up to America show up to Liberia to participate in the slave trade, cannibalism, female circumcision. Like we're supposed to accept that or have an open mind to it. I'm all about it, just African culture, but there's some shit I'm not gonna have an open mind to or accept. You gotta cross the line somewhere, especially if you wanna be westernized or civilized or the uh, the, the 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 Africa, the media that just show you on TV eyes. Shout out to the Super Chats. But again, when the Catholic and the Christian priests came to Africa, when a lot of you Africans come to America and you write down your, your Christian name, your proper Christian name, and you're ashamed of your African name, it's okay. But when the America say, hey, look, you can come get down. You come get educated, but we're going to adopt you and change your name. Oh, it's the worst shit on the fucking planet. The worst shit. Same thing in, in, in Africa. When the Christian missionaries and, you know, the white Jesus Christian missionaries and Catholic priests came and told the Africans that, you know, if you want to get educated, you got to change your name and reject this and reject this about your culture. Same thing with the Muslims. When they came and told you you had to reject all of this if you want to go to this proper white Christian school here in Kenya or Tanzania or South Africa, you all had no problem doing it. And you had nothing to show for it. But when you had Americans come in, I mean, they didn't build any infrastructure. They didn't build shit. All this sacrificing, sacrificing that you did. Okay. When. The Europeans came and told you you had to do it. No problem. I changed my name, worship white Jesus, reject my culture. No problem. No problem. No problem. And you have nothing to show for it. But when Americos came and gave you the Africa, the media doesn't show you on TV. Oh, kill all the Americos, tie them up the totem poles and shoot them on BBC. Kill them all on BBC. But you you would never dare tie Indian, European, Chinese to a totem pole and execute them in front of BBC. And they haven't done shit for Africa. Meanwhile, 100 years before the Chinese or whoever is helping build African infrastructure, when the Americals came and gave you the Africa, the media that just show you on TV, you all rejected it, blew the shit up, executed people like animals on national worldwide TV. But now you're dying for the shit that the Americals brought to Africa. And dying for it so bad that you're literally dying for it by crossing, being slit, traded in the slave trade, dying in boats headed to Italy, coming over here to America and now being kicked out. Well, we brought that shit to America 100 years ago, but now you, you're dying for it. All that Western shit you guys wanted so bad, Western civilization, you know, 
westernized this that roads everything you guys wanted infrastructure we brought that 100 years before the european did you guys reject rejected it and destroyed it now you guys are dying just to get it makes no sense make sure you guys go to search for guru on instagram snapchat twitter and facebook also go to africa personified on those same uh, platforms make sure you go to dynastamir.com search for guru dot com also go to africa personified at amazon.com search your name dinah samir please uh buy a book until next time dinah samir search for huru peace